All right, guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to scrap multiple pages using Scrappy and by following links given on our web page. And we wrote all of this code, but we forgot to check the output of this code. But you must have already checked the output on your own. If you haven't, I just want to show you the output of this uh, scrapping multiple pages and using this following link method. So what I've done is I've already printed out this next page. And if we scroll up a little bit, you'll be able to see that this page is being printed. So let's scroll up a little bit and somewhere over here, you can see that the page nine has been printed and every page actually has been printed because of this print statement. Obviously you don't need to print it. And uh, so we'll just remove it. And in this video, we are going to learn how to scrap pages of pagination. So for example, if we open up amazon.com and we scroll at the bottom of a department or a section, you will be able to see that there are these multiple pages at the bottom and clicking on one of these numbers takes you to the second page. So we will learn how to scrap pages when this kind of pagination is given. So first thing I want you guys to notice is that, for example, if we are on our course.toScript website and if we go to the next page, you'll be able to see that in the URL, the page number increases. So right now we are on page two. And if we click on the next button again, you'll be able to see that now we are on page three. And similarly, if we just want to go back to page one, we can just manipulate this URL to go to that specific page number. So for example, if I want to go to page one, I can press enter and this is the home page of our code to scrape website. And now if we want to go to page nine, I can just put in page nine over here and this will directly take us to page nine. Now this is a concept that is used to scrap websites that have pagination in them. Similarly, if you go to amazon.com and look at the URL, you will be able to say that there is currently no page number over here. You can scroll it a little bit on the right, but as you can see, there is no page number over here. And that is because we are just on the first page. Sometimes when you go to the second page, then you can actually see the page number. So for example, in a quotes website, as you can see on the paint page, you can't see the page number, but when you click on the next button, only then you can see the page number. And this theme is actually consistent with a lot of websites. So just keep it in mind when you are scrapping pages and websites that have pagination in them. So if we go back to the second page, and as you can see right now, there is no page number, but now if you click on the second page, you can see that there's this new attribute over here, which is called page equals to two. So we can use this attribute to go to any page that we want. So for example, if we want to go to the fifth page, we can just type in five and press enter. And now you'll be able to see that the fifth page has opened up. And this is consistent. If we scroll down, you can see that the pagination also has this fifth element darkened. And that means we are on the fifth page. And similarly, we can just go to the first page again, and we can just press enter and you'll be able to see that the first page is the same. Now we'll be scrapping amazon.com completely in the future videos. So I'm going to leave this website for now. And we're just going to focus on our course.toScrape website and learn how to scrape this using pagination. And then we are going to use the same concepts that we learn in this video to actually scrap Amazon. So what we will do is that we'll go back to our code and instead of just pasting it at the start URL, this course.toscrape.com, we are actually going to replace this with the first page. So if we click on next, this is page two and we can just manipulate it to go to page one and we'll be using this as our start URL. You don't have to do it. We don't have to change the start URL in this case, but it just makes it more intuitive for you guys to understand what am I doing if I replace the start URL with this page one. After that, because we need to go to page two, page three, page four, we need some kind of a variable. And uh, so I'm just gonna create a variable and just call it page underscore number. And we'll give it a value of two because we are already on page one and I want it to go to page two. And then inside this def equals to parse outside this uh, for loop, we are going to change this response dot CSS because the next page we already know what we want. We want to go to the second page so we can just copy it from over here and we are going to paste it over here and let's enclose it in single quotes. Now this is static. So even though for the first time it might go to the second page, it will go to the second page, but it won't go to the third page, fourth page, fifth page. So what I'm planning to do is that I'm going to replace this digit of two with actually this page number and then inside this if next page is not equals to, is not none if condition we'll just increase the value of this variable that is page underscore number variable so what we are going to do is that we are going to replace this too so let's uh, let's actually get this page underscore number over here 
So this, this variable of page underscore number is actually a class variable. So you can't just write page underscore number and expect it to work. You actually have to refer it through the quote under quote spider class. So I'm just going to write quote spider dot page number and now you can access it. And let me just add a plus and over here. And now it gives us an error which says expected string got int instead. So this actually is should be a string. So we're just gonna type cast it into a string. Let me just remove this thing from here. So we're just gonna write str and we are gonna type cast it into str. So this integer just became a string and now the value of the page is actually stored inside this next page variable. And now we are gonna replace this if condition. So we are just gonna copy this from here. And this is actually just the page number and we are going to replace this if condition which says if quote spider dot page number is less than equal to 11 then only make sure that you go to the next page because we only have the limit to go till 10 and if we go to 11 page number there are no quotes so we're just putting that in inside our if condition and after this we just need to increase this page number by one so that it, next time it comes to this next page this page number actually becomes three four five and so on so inside this if condition we are just going to write page number plus equals to one and this will make sure that our page number is increased by one so just to recap what will happen is that first the url the start url is going to be this page one and then it will go inside our parse function and it will scrap all the codes from that page then it's going to go to this next page equals to and it will get this link with page number equals to two which we have stored over here and this is a class variable that is why we have to use this dot character over here and after that it will check if our page number is less than equals to 11 or let's make it less than 11 not less than equals to 11 and if it's less than 11 then it will make sure it just to increase the page number by one and then just go to the next page and basically the same thing that we did in the last video and this will go on it will scrap all of the pages till the page number is 10 after that the if conditions become false and it won't go to the next page so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to learn how to uh, log in into our website so we are actually going to be exploring the functionality of this login button over here but more of that in the next video and just to end this video we are going to test this out to make sure that this actually works so we are going to open up our terminal again and let's go to the bottom and we are going to just scroll it once more so let me just do it from the start let's try scrappy crawl codes and hopefully this should work without any errors all right so it's scrolling for a long time so it means that it's actually working and as you can see it has a lot of codes scrapped over here so guys that's pretty much it i'll see you in the next video peace out